I want the physical evidence that he rose from the grave. People saw Jesus risen from the dead. Over 500, a document written 20 years after the fact, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, records. 20 years after the fact. Right. Yeah, written 20 years well, not after three the fact. Days after. Pardon? Not three days after he died. It was they 20 didn't years write after. It. They somebody, talked about it. Somebody happened to bring it up. No, no, no. They spoke about it freely. Lots. But, but then when the eyewitnesses started dying down. off, they started writing it down. 20 years later. 20 years later. If somebody rose from the grave now, I think it would be written well within 20 years. Have you ever studied the difference between writing 2,000 years ago and writing today? A little bit of difference, sir. Quite expensive to buy papyrus and write 2,000 years ago. I think it'd be well worth the money to write something like that. <laughs> well, they, what they did was they decided, guess what? I don't want your writing. I want to see the people who saw Christ risen from the dead, and I want to hear it from their mouth. So stories. Fairy tales. Eyewitness account. Okay, fairy tales. Not fairy tales, right. no. Not once upon a time in the once land of Odd, Wink and Blink and Odd took a boat ride. No. At this time, in this place, with these people around, Jesus was crucified. He was buried in the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea, a ruler of the Jewish people at that time. All his disciples dispersed in disillusionment. They thought that Christ was a fraud. Three days later, they come back, and those who were convinced that he was a fraud are willing to die as martyrs. Sir, just in case you haven't noticed, martyrs and hypocrites are not made of the same stuff. And these martyrs said, we saw Christ risen from the dead, and they died, not for their belief, not for their fairy tale, sir. They died for what they saw, the dead Christ risen from the dead.